Milestones. As you travel down a road, milestones are markers, originally made of stone that mark your journey and show your progress. In their journey through the ever-changing automotive world, the Dow family has reached the 100-year milestone of supplying motorized personal transportation to fill the needs and dreams of their guests. The journey began in 1911 with a telegram announcing that the Ford Motor Company had appointed the H. Dow Journal Store as a Ford agency. The story goes that Andrew Dow was surprised one day to find out that his sons had got him into the automobile business, but Harry and Chester were known as smart and aggressive boys. Automobile traveling was in its infancy. It was normal for cars to be shipped by rail, not fully assembled. So the learning process as a dealer began immediately. They were the final assembly line. Early customers had needs different from those today. The trade in maybe a horse and buggy, and the new car owner had to be taught how to drive customer service was important from day one. By 1915, Dow opened dealerships in Viroqua and La Crosse. An early milestone came in the seven-year mark, when in 1918, Dow offered more choices beyond the Ford line. Then in 1919, another milestone was expanding into Oshkosh. Farmers were early targets for new automobiles. They liked to be known as progressive, Dow family history recalls how farmers were tough customers who expected a deal, not unlike customers today. Well, customers come back to Dow year after year simply because they, they like the experience they've had with us. They're comfortable. They kind of become our friends, too. So they're coming back to do business with people that they know and people that they can trust. Being creative with selling ideas continues in the 1920s, and business was roaring. The Dow started promotions like discounted gas on Saturdays to Dow Ford buyers, which brought some second thoughts from people that chose other brands. In 1921, the Milwaukee Sentinel crowned the Dow family as Wisconsin's champion Fliver family, Fliver being a term associated with the inexpensive Model T. The Dow family sold 2,800 new Fords in 1920. Believe it or not, another great idea was free air for tire inflation, something that often had to be done and was difficult with the hand pumps. It was just one more way to bond with a customer and bring them back. Guest service today really isn't all that much different than, what, than it was in the past because even in the earliest days, the Dahl family recognized the importance of keeping our guests satisfied. Ultimately, they depended on those happy buyers for repeat business, word of mouth advertising, Today, the commitment's just simply part of the culture at Dow, where every chance we get to impress a guest, we want to succeed. In the 1930s, America saw hard times with the Great Depression. In reaction to this, the Dow family concentrated less on new car sales and more on servicing cars guests had already purchased. This helped families stretch their budget and it was thought that a satisfied customer would return to buy again when conditions improved. The family also started to seek and acquire struggling dealerships throughout the entire Midwest and beyond. World War II brought shortages of fuel, rubber, and nearly everything else. Ford switched to concentrating on military vehicles, so Dow dealerships focused on used vehicles and parts to weather the storm. It keeps customers coming back, whether to buy parts for cars that are damaged or accessories. And that's what we're all about. We want everybody to leave here as happy or happier than they were when they came in the door. On the service side, it's, you know, they, they come in, they're not happy, they're, their car's broken, well, we're here to fix it or to make it right. We want them to tell their friends and their families about it, advertise that way, and, and bring people back and be happy to be here. Eventually, conditions in the economy did improve. During the war years, Ford promised people, there's a Ford in your future. After the war ended, factories switched back to normal production, and Dow worked hard to fill orders and serve our local communities. Dow dealerships continue to grow throughout America. I was surprised to learn how many Dow dealerships were across America. Uh, especially knowing that they were from the East Coast to the West Coast. Uh, it was very exciting for the Dow family and an exciting time to keep things in place and everything running, uh, especially without the computer systems we work with today. 
the Dow name became associated with some great names in the vibrant world of driving in America, including Chevrolet, Chrysler, Packard, Cadillac, Oldsmobile and Plymouth, to name a few. But the longest and strongest relationship is with the Ford Motor Company. It's pretty amazing. You know, like you said, 100 years, it's a long time. You know, with all the, uh, you know, changes throughout the world and um, throughout the years, you know, the doll name remains very strong in the area and for the community. To be in business for 100 years, you obviously have to do a lot of things right. And uh, for us, that's, their, their commitment to customer satisfaction is huge. And you can tell just by the, by the number of long-term employees that have been here, what a great place it is to work for. Another milestone came with the introduction of America's push to more fun vehicles in the 1950s, featuring some classic convertibles. Growth and success followed by focusing on the best dealerships and eliminating dealerships that underperformed. It was evident that hiring talented people to foster growth is critical. The Dow family has always depended on a dedicated, ambitious group of quality-minded individuals who share the family goal of success through guest satisfaction. People such as Art Chubler, who faithfully served the family as a trusted accountant for over 50 years. You know, it's been a, just a, an awesome journey um, that we're on for, uh, at Dow Automotive. And, and we've got a very uh, loyal group and committed group that have a, have a tremendous passion for um, what they do every day for the business. Right now, um, in our 100th anniversary, I don't think we have, I think we have the best team that we've ever had. And I feel that, I say that very confidently because I believe it. And I'm just, it's just an honor to work alongside everybody each and every day. As many of the older car lines faded, an important milestone for Ford and Dahl was the new styles of the 1960s, especially the very popular Mustang, introduced in 1964. The 1970s and 80s saw the beginnings of the foreign car invasion. The Dahls recognized early that these lines were here to stay. In 1983, a milestone was reached by adding the Subaru line, and since then, imports have been a major success story for the company. I think it's really been critical for the success of Dahl Automotive that the company's always been flexible to have growth opportunities. And when the time has been right, uh, decisions were made to pursue both domestic and foreign lines to meet the guest needs. But I think it has to be very gratifying to know the bond with Ford. It's withstood the test of time of 100 years. I mean, that's a great American story. Will we continue to look at other opportunities? Um, we added Toyota this last year. Um, if something comes up, absolutely. I know we've got the team. Uh, to step up to the challenge now. And so if those opportunities um, exist, you know, we'll definitely take advantage of it. Today, the Dow family pays tribute to the past as they stand firm to keep the company a generation ahead. New brands from around the world are embraced. Meeting guest needs through service like Quicklane and internet shopping have been expanded. The future will bring more changes in strategies and technology. It will surely be an exciting ride. My family and I would like to dedicate this presentation for those of you out there that have been with us in the past, who are with us today, and also those that will be with us in the generations ahead.